Hey everyone, it has been a long time since I posted a video to YouTube, but I figured I would come back with a fun little video, something short and sweet, and just a little walkthrough of my little sticker book that I have here. I'm Katie from Katie K Plans, and I hope you enjoy this video. I feel like I have changed quite a bit of planning since I was last on here. I am still in my daily duo. I might even do like a follow-up video of what I'm currently using. This is my half letter and I will share this with you guys as soon as I get it to where it's like really beneficial to me um, and it's really helping me. Right now I have a few hiccups um, of some things in here and I've had to remove some stuff and just kind of uh, move some things around. So I really want it to be working for me before I just share something with you um, because I love the half letter and I really just, I want to do it some justice here because it is very, very customizable and just very good, especially if you are going into the disc bound world. This is a really good size. So I will share that with you guys later on and I may do like a video of what planners I'm currently using. But for today, we're going to keep this fun, short, sweet, and I'm going to show you what is in this little sticker book. I will try to link all the shops down below for you of where you can purchase things um, as long as they're still available, which most of them are. So this little sticker organizer, including all of these sheets, let me get to the back because I had a few extras um, so you can kind of see. I purchased three different sets of these. This is from Poi and Hun. I will link it below. And it came with these inserts that hold two um, slots here. And so I purchased the extra with the four slot organizer and then just the single slot here um, off to the side. I purchased those separately too. I think overall I paid like maybe 25 for all of it which is not bad when it comes to all of the sticker organization. I already had the discs, so that was not a problem. It did come with really small, I think like half inch discs. And although I really like the clear, I think I'm gonna order some more of the clear ones um, that I had already purchased for my disc bound, but I'm just using these for now because they work and that's what I have. So as soon as you open up, this is the frosted cover. I really love the frosted cover. They actually just came out with a like crystal clear cover, uh, but I'm pretty fond of this frosted one. And so you open it up and this is kind of what we have. Um, so if you do not follow her on Instagram, you need to follow plan to create. Julie over there is literally like the disc bound queen. She's one of my top favorites. Um, and I got, um, this idea from her, she put all of her little samplers it's from Sweet Caress Designs. Um, and so basically this is all of her color schemes and you just put it right up front here and you can just reference it when you're purchasing or if you're trying to pick out a color scheme. Um, but I thought that was a really good idea because, you know, sometimes the colors can look different on the computer or your phone. Um, and this is a really cool idea to figure out what colors you're going to like best. So I purchased those and I just keep those right up front here in this little adhesive pocket um, that I, it's kind of a makeshift little pocket. Um, this was a smaller one and I had to kind of trim it down. So over here we have more, you're going to see a lot of Sweet Caress designs. I have purchased all of these on my own, um, but I am on her new fall like PR team and you can use code Katie K10 for um, 10 percent off some of your stickers if you want to purchase. I will tell you she has some of the prettiest like transparent neutral stickers and so many good colors. So this is what I currently have. This is the Autumn Spice collection. I believe it's like a limited edition. It is still available but I thought that was really pretty for fall. And then I just have some dots here. These are some of my favorite color schemes that you're going to see in here. So that's, that's kind of why I don't have every single color. These are some of my favorites. So um, I have the large dew drops in multiple colors. And then um, here is another one of the limited edition little stickers for the dew drops. It's the brown sugar collection. Um, and I thought that one was really pretty too. And then this is like the winter one. 
and I don't know if it was limited edition or not. I don't know if it's like new for this year or if it was just last year, but this is the gingerbread collection. This oatmeal and linen and cashmere pink. This is probably the prettiest pink I've ever seen. Um, sometimes you can get it where it's like too pink, like blush, but this is really pretty. Um, so I have more dew drops. I really like nutmeg too. And then we go into some of just the plain transparent dots. So I have a bunch of different colors of those matching um, to the gingerbread collection. And then we have some of the circle stickers. They say note, appointment, work, must do, bill do, call, and buy. So I have a few of those. Um, I have like some social media stickers. I really like these. These are really pretty, the transparent ones. I like these too because of the different color schemes, but um, so I have YouTube and then I have some Instagram ones. I have some more little drops here. And then I picked up some of the um, little like flower stickers. I thought those were really pretty. And then I have some little petite stickers. These fit really good in that four slot organizer from Point and Hun. Some month stickers and then some more little icon stickers. And then now we get into some of my favorite script stickers from Nicole Hutch Designs. So some of my top ones are wash the laundry, clean up. I have church, day off, order groceries, errands, and then don't forget. And then I really like these um, little samplers. Those are really pretty with, I think I just like the font like combination. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, and then I just have some old transparent dots from Knockout Print Shop. Um, and then my favorite, Chrissy and Designs work stickers. I kind of cut this little paper down, um, sticker paper, and stuck it in here because this kind of travels with me a little bit more than my binders do. Um, but those are my favorite ones. More Nicole Hutch Designs. Her stickers fit perfectly in this one sleeve here from Point and Hun. I have some YouTube icons from Sweet Sticker Bliss, another one of my favorite shops. Some um, font, like I think these for your tab are for your tabs um, in your planner. So that's from Sweet Caress Designs as well. And then I have some of my favorite cloth and paper colors in the transparent dots and drops. Um, some Lotus Paper Co. stickers. I think my favorite ones are these little smiley faces different expressions. I love those. Um, and then I did put in um, some journaling cards that I just wanted to keep kind of not messed up or lost. And then I have a bunch of my page flags. Um, what else? Some samplers from Nicole Hutch Designs. Um, and then I do have some Villa Beautiful Essentials. These are actually kind of cool. Um, so these are actually vellum. Um, page flags. So instead of that, you know, page flag that is like, let me pull it off. This is from cloth and paper. Whoops. Go this way. So instead of it being that like real flimsy material, because it is just a transparent page flag, it is way thicker. You can see like the difference. Um, it is much thicker, but I found that these are actually really nice to use if you are um, putting them in your like disc bound or ring bound planner and you want to use some icon stickers. So that's what I did here and they hold up so well. Um, so I do really like them for that. I don't really like them to write on. Um, I have not found a good enough pin that I like that doesn't just like instantly dry compared to like here. I can just use... Um, a uni pen or the Christian Designs permanent marker dries instantly. I use these mostly for like um, to mark my page so that I can turn to it because they are so thick and they hold up very nicely. And then in the back I just have some of my extra sheets. And then here I have the Lotus Paper Co. sampler again so I could see some of those color schemes as well. So 
that is my little sticker organizer. This is probably one of my favorite purchases recently. Um, it's so much fun. I just, I love the way it looks. I love how everything just is in here and it holds up very, very nicely. Um, again, I think I'm going to change these out to clear discs. Um, I just kind of like that vibe a little bit better, but if you guys have any questions about the sticker book um, or any of the stickers in here, just let me know. I am going to link everything below. And if you want to see more of disc bound and just some inspiration, you can follow me over at KDK Plants on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube for whenever I decide to post videos. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.